Alright boys and girls, welcome everyone back to another new fresh video. Once again, since today, we're looking at That's Not My Neighbor. As you probably, many of you may know the game, which is called Paper Please. So this game is a little bit like, kind of like that, but... Uh, oh, wait, uh, as I was saying, it's kind of like that, but it's more of, you know, horror. A horror paper please. You probably get that as well um can i press anything does it do we have any secret around here that would be cool anyway let's hit play record Ooh, okay uh oh wow i don't know why it's doing that but arcade mode you have the dapper and gangers you let in don't kill you immediately but at the end of the run get a score right at the end of the run according to your performance possibility to find a complete the Chester's quiz. We have many more in interesting. Hello. Oh, a good one. A good intro. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fine. Hello, you're watching this film is because you are the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each name. Got it. Easy peasy. I can do that. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. This is the structure of your office. Now, we're going to explain how it works. Hmm. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Ah, okay, so it's the uh, same as paper, please. Yeah. Receive documents from this hatch. Okay. If you determine that the individual is a double anger, it allow them into the building with these batons. Got it. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a double gang, press the emergency button and call 3312. I will. To communicate with the DTD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Why do I need to communicate? No. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Yeah, my job is basically live or die. Um, myself, live or die, or my neighbor, live or die. Live, death. Life, death. Live, death. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by double gang. I did not read what was previous, by the way. You like him, but better. So, was he killed? Did he die? I did not read the um, previous one, but I assume, I assume that he died. Dies somehow. As you can see on the introduction of the film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors of your building. Each day there will be a list of individuals who will request entry into the building. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. In which case, you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question. Also, you must verify that the ID and the entry requests are correct and have the respective DDD logo. Don't forget to also check the expiration on the ID. The number is February 1955. I wish you good luck. So there's 3312. So we can dial this number. So I believe that. Oh, hey. Uh, good afternoon. Do I have, do I have time limit? Should I, should I be concerned about the time or is the time just fine? 
Um, you're not on the list today. Um, sir, but hold on. As I was, what if I die already? Three, one, two. Don't call to the DDD if there's no emergency. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, well, I I have a feeling that if you call them too many times, you may have some sort of endings to that. Like, you know, you get fired or something. But there could be a possibility with that. Uh, all right, you are Roman. You're in apartment one, F1 floor one. Reason I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is on fur on the number one on the second first floor. Okay. How do I crash? Is it on today's list? No. Question the, the visual. Am I not on today's list? No, you're not. I think there is an error. I should be on the list. All right, well, let's see if you should be. Look at the list again. Uh, wh oh, what? What? So, so do you, can you, do you, do you not have anything to say other than like, oh my God, there's most error. I'm totally on the list. Uh, no, excuse me, but you should get the frick out. No, you're not on the list. You're not. No, you're not. Go, go away. Move, get out. Get out of my building. You're not. You don't. You shouldn't be here. This is my place. So get out. Is he dead? Hi. What am I supposed to do? Huh? You're not on the list. You're not even on the list. What's your name? Again, Roman. There's no, there's no Roman on the list. And I already hit that button. Why isn't it doing anything at all? Hello, three, three, one, two. He's not on the list. Help me. There is a goddamn emergency right here. He okay, well, I don't think I have any other choice, right? Oh, so he's not on this list, but he is in this list. It's just that he's not in the entry list. Okay, so I have to check this. Um, if there's only a way to control, like, you know, let it split right where I can drag it, it would be much easier to compare it. Oh, wait. Scar on the right chest. You, you bitch. You think you could get away, huh? What's wrong with my no, I look like I always do. No, you do not look like you always do. What am I supposed to do? It doesn't match. His scar doesn't match. His scar doesn't match. What am I supposed to do? Excuse me, I'm stuck here. You you don't look the guy. You don't have an ID with you in here, so I do not know. Yes, you are requesting. You are not. Oh, so four eight three nine two four zero four eight three nine two four zero five nine six eight four five nine six eight four. So that's actually the correct ID. But his scar ain't the same. He wears a hat. He's not wearing a hat. Whatever. I'll just. Is that bad? Did I do bad? Okay, whatever. Good afternoon. Don't know how that went, but sure. A resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher. I don't think that's any of my business. So, you are on today's list. Mia Stone F301. Uh, yep, you're F301. F3. There's no one on. Oh, right, F301. Uh, freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. You look good. Great. Okay. Go. Ooh. Ah, ah. Oh, that's so much easier. Okay, where's your ID? Is your ID here? ID, excuse. Sorry. Yeah, give me your ID. Stop being stupid. 
Why are you being stupid? Uh, seven, eight, nine, five, six, four, uh, five, six, four, five, two, five, one, one, five. What about the expiration date? Yeah, fine. Okay, you're good. You're good to go. Oh God. Hello, who are you? What are you? I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job. I don't care what your job is. It's none of my problem. Okay, you're from the 301. Yes, you are here. Are you on today's list? Yep, you are on today's list. Doctor F. Um, so that's 25048. 25048 965. Uh, we're glad short hair around no square head. Go. So far, everything is great, except for the first guy. There has to be something wrong with the first guy, though. Hello. How can I help you today? You don't wear hat in... Are you supposed to wear hat? I mean, people can wear hat if they want, so it's not really big of a problem, I guess. Expiration date is fine. Are you, are you on today's list? Is the hat a problem? Is Should the hat be a problem? Uh... He, he does wear... He does wear a hat. Okay, that's good. You get to go. Don't come along. See you later, alligator. What was that? So far, everything is great. Nothing has gone wrong yet. What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Uh, life. The meaning of life is to life. That's incorrect. Goodbye. What do you mean? What? what? Was that supposed to be a secret? Hello, ma'am. You good today? Uh, your name is really Raftlin Capuchin. Good name. A uh, Raftlin Capuchin. All right. I'm resident the building. I went out to visit my parents here on three, four. Dude, everything seems fine. Seems good. What about your ID? Is it expired? Nope, it's good. Uh, five, six, eight, five, 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 six, eight, five, five, four, five, nine, six, three, two, nine. Everything's good. You're good to go, ma'am. Come along. This job is just so easy. I'm the best. Hi. Uh, you're missing out one thing. What's your entry request? Entry request. Uh huh. Thank you. Shoemaker, I don't care. Are you on the list? You are on the list, Robert Ski. You're still good. And which floor you're on? 102. So far, nothing is wrong yet. So, 11465, 1652289730. Okay, you're good. Come along. I have a feeling I may fail this really badly. Am I gonna fail this really badly? Oh, God. I. Oh, wait, no! I think I did an oopsie. But. Capuchin. You're not you're not on today's list. You're not on today's list. Hmm, okay. Alright. Guess I'll manually check you then. Um You do have an entry request. Three oh four. Your eyes, your eyes always look like that. Is it supposed to look like that? What are you again? This, this is going tough. Good lord. IT is correct. Your appearance doesn't look the same. Yeah, your eyes. Okay, that. <laughs> My dude, you're not, you're not. Three, three, one, two. Excuse me, emergency. Pick the phone up. Uh -huh. Oh, so I failed the first guy. God damn it, no, I, oh my God, God. Damn it! I 
failed the first guy. The first guy was different. Oh. I okay. It's pretty <laughs> obvious that you know it's uh okay. Well, now you just you're just being stupid. You're just making me look like a fool. You're just being dumb. You think you could get over here with my permission? You sh All right, skip. Thank you. Easy peasy. Yep, that's just me. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate your help. Left, are there? You are the correct one. I know. I left a wrong one in, which is horribly bad. That was my fault. Ooh. Ever dream this clown? Every night all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information, go to <laughs> Child Unlike Me. Alright, thank you for the advertisement of your game, developer. Appreciate that. Very helpful. Hey, today's list. Yes, you are. You're on F201, are you? You do wear a hat. Uh oh. Okay, everything seems fine so far. Nothing is wrong, so you're good to go. It's a little bit confusing that you literally have to check their hat. I have to close that or else. It's a lot of one of you. I thought you were green already. What's wrong with you? Three, three, one, two, again. Again. Pick up, pick up the goddamn phone. Thank you. Clean. I thought you guys already cleaned him. Why he's still here? You guys are terrible at your job. You suck at it. Good lord. I need to work. Oh, what? But, well, okay, well, I guess that's still a good one for me. I mean, I did detect that he was a doppelganger in the beginning. But, you know, I did not know how to deal with that. So I was still quite confused. Yes, uh, because that's my bad after all. Um, so there should be a story mode, I mean, which should be pretty interesting. But so far, it only has the arcade mode. But I have A rank, which is really good. All right, links to the game will be right down in the description. And it's a pretty interesting game. I'm willing where the developer will go uh, with all of these. And also, there was that book, that guy who asked what is the purpose of life and stuff. Um, I do not know what the answer would be. But if you guys do know, let me know right down in the comments. Um, it would be really interesting. Alright. Like always, if you guys did enjoy this video, alright, make sure to go ahead and smash like button, subscribe to my channel. Also, would be really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys all in the next new fresh video. Once again. And alright.